वेलकम टू जयपुर लिट फेस्ट On day one of this literature festival, I'm here to show you what are the coolest things in this festival. If you couldn't make it, and if you could make it, and if you met me, you are awesome. How could we not begin this tour of Jaipur Lit Fest with the bookstore, right? So let's go inside the bookstore and see what's in there. Tay almost spilled his whiskey in alarm. Mama Nang stopped and said, "Good, good. That's what we fought for—to give our Kasi youth employment and opportunity." Nature of desire in a very a Greek uh, philosophical way. When I arrived in Italy, published by very well-known house Feltrinelli, the reporter said, "So, Miss Doshi, tell me with the title Il Piacere." Couple of authors which are coming here. I got a confirmation about Anuja Chauhan, but she's not here. But here's the press lounge where we get to ask as many questions as we want. Hard to check if the mic was on. So we get to ask as many questions as we want from the authors. It's like more like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. But Anuja Chauhan is not here. It's so sad. I actually ran through the crowd. And I'm gonna miss one session. I really wanted to attend. So you write both fiction and non-fiction. How different it is to write uh, both kind of genres. So you had this session today, right, uh, with uh, Mr. Chetan Bhagat and a couple of other authors, right? So how was it at Jaipur Lit Fest? India, you can take like almost any place. And it's not been so much written about in fiction. Now I'm free at the press lounge once again. I interviewed Mr. Ashwin Sanghi, and I also interviewed uh, Mr. Vineet Bajpai. And maybe now I should call it a day. What do you guys think? This is like press lounge. All the biggies are here. I have just HT branch team right in front of me. It's really fun here. I think I'm done with this. Let's first, right? I really had a great time, and I hope if you were there, I hope you also had a great time. <laughs> 